I would say that there are many good law firms that specialize in mesothelioma cases. Um, I often tell my clients that um, when you're looking for a lawyer, you're really trying to find a combination of things that will give you the best representation. One of them is who is going to actually be working on your case. Um, a lot of times law firms will send out an investigator or a paralegal uh, to meet with the prospective client and they won't get an opportunity to actually talk to the lawyer who's going to be working on the case. And I always recommend to clients that they meet with a lawyer from the firm and not just a lawyer from the firm, but that they ask about the specific lawyer that's going to be working on, on their case. Um, the reason for that is the, the representation is a partnership and you need to make sure it's a good fit between the client uh, and the attorney. Um, and you also want to make sure that you're not going to be meeting with one person and then end up with a different person. Um, you know, for example, you don't want to end up meeting with a senior lawyer at the firm and then have your case assigned to, you know, a very junior person who may not have the same level of skill and experience. So um, I, I think meeting the lawyer asking some questions about who's actually going to be doing the representation. Uh, those are important things. I think the size of the firm does matter. Um, mesothelioma cases are uh, unique. Um, they're unique medically and they're unique legally. And you need a team of lawyers that's going to be dedicated to your particular case. Um, and you don't want to be just a, another name or number at the law firm. So. In general, I think firms that specialize in mesothelioma cases and are uh, have a smaller number of clients uh, get better results for uh, for their clients as opposed to firms that uh, treat them more like class actions or administrative cases. Um, and geography is certainly one factor that you'd you'd want to keep in mind. Um, you know if everything about your case happened in California. Obviously, you know, you were born in California, all your work was in California, you were exposed to asbestos in California, and, and you still live there. You'd be better off with a California law firm representing you. But if you were born in North Dakota, and spent some time in New York, or Massachusetts, or any other state and were exposed to asbestos, you'd want to look for a lawyer that's going to get the best result for you, regardless of where they are geographically. And um, many times that's going to be a lawyer who's not located in your state. Uh, so geography is one factor, but um, I, uh, I think looking at that broadly uh, based on the places that you've lived, the places that you've worked, uh, the places that you served in the military, um, you don't necessarily need somebody who's local to you or in the state where you're living now.